Okay. Loaded up. Back in Snowball. So, we're gonna make sure we're all set here with the audio and everything. Check our clan primers, because we're cool like that. These two. But nope, today we're heading to the Necro Hall. That's for sure. Just make sure it pulls up on my channel. I don't know what it is, but the browser seems to be acting up today. I don't need ads on my own channel. That's the dumbest thing. It's like, it's my channel. It's my fucking channel. Why are you giving me ads on my own channel? Come on. There we go. All right. Uh. Save the queen. Ooh. That's really good. Expose. So again, we're doing this in Bass Ackward's order, but that's fine. Um, also, we are heading to the Necro Hall, but we're actually going to start from the Silica Wood. You'll understand why once we get there. You're still just hanging out. Remember when this was going to be a tough zone and I was struggling with it just a little bit? Now that's just not happening at all. Okay. I don't know what it is with these Beknami in particular, but they suck.
One big old poosh. All right, let's check on our boys. For whatever reason, you do not want to talk to me right now, but that's okay. Makleo. Spoken with Roken Mo and Roken Moo, and we are in agreement. The hero we have waited for is you. The medallion of bravery has spoken to Roken Mo, and the medallion of love to Roken Moo, and they both speak your name. The keys must go to you. Two years ago, Nethysite destroyed the city. From the whirling mists left the wake of destruction, three fell beasts emerged. Humbaba, Fury, and Chaos. Beasts with strength enough to lay waste to an entire world loosed by Hume Rage. We survived the fall of Nabadis and found the beast waiting. After a battle spanning many days, we at last sealed them within the ruins. We changed the keys of the seals into medallions secreting them away to where they would remain safe. This was two years ago, mind you, when Nabudis fell. But the mist in the ruins grow deeper in, with each passing day. In time, the bonds will weaken and break. We will not be able to repel them again. We must see the medallions in the hands of a hero who might defeat the beasts. The prophecy foretold the coming of a hero. And a hero has come. The medallions of love and bravery have named you that hero. Only the medallion of might remains. In fact, it waits here in the Nabrius Deadlands. The Medallion of Might rests in a small shrine in a holy place we call Overlooking Eternity. There it waits for the hero to find it. Once a bridge rose from here to this holy place, but it is no more. You must cross the Deadlands afoot to reach it now. We've actually already seen that shrine, believe it or not. By reaching this holy place, you will prove you are worthy of the Medallion of Might hero. There, in overlooking eternity, we await your coming. Roken Mo and Roken Mu. Let us go. So they too are going to that very shrine. I believe. Uh, but yeah, the area they're talking about is over there. Because that's where the bridge would have connected. But it's gone now. So we're just going to head back on over because we're cool like that. Still a good leveling spot, believe it or not. Even though we were here when we were, what, level 30 or so? That's the most hilarious part to me. It's like, we were we were here at a lower level. And it's still fucking ridiculously hard. But we managed to get through it just fine. Just because of the build we had at the time, where it just worked. It wasn't the smoothest, but it worked. supposed to use magic on Like, that's straight up what you're supposed to do, but fuck it. No, I'm in the right spot. I was like, wait, did I miss it? It's like, no. No, I didn't. Beck and Banshee. I don't remember the last time Balthier was even able to use his bow.
So the only real problem with this team is that they don't have time or black magic at all. They have a lot of white magic. But they are not a magic oriented team. And I don't really know how to counterbalance that because the other team works out really well and this team is just like, okay, well... That's because they're balanced out a little bit better, I think, on the other side. I'm trying to balance this team out, but again, like, if you lock black magic down to the black mage only, it's going to cause problems. Golden skull cap, which I don't think anybody else can wear. Vaughn, are you done with your licenses? I think he is. As scary as that is. really dumb part is he still has these over here. But if everything works out today, I will have another Esper, which will give me some more options. Bellius didn't unlock anything for anybody, I don't think. Yes. done. Bosh, you're really done. Ash is done. Pinello, where are you at, girl? So now what I could do if I really wanted to is I could do double EXP on just about all of them and get them to max level, but for right now we're going to hold off on that. Because I don't want to make my I don't want to make it too easy, but again, it may already be too late. opal rings do I have is the other question. Equip. If I wanted to put on opal rings for everybody to make sure... I have three. Oh, that's good. That's fucking good. Alright. Alright, I, I have a new plan. That's fine. This will work. Climb, we're gonna do it again. Why? Because skeletons suck, that's why. I want to get ace to go really badly. Quick 
three magic do you have? Siphon, bubble, decoy, drain, and oil. Again, this team has all the fucking white magic in the world, but when it comes to black magic, they've got nothing. Try not to aggro too many at a time, because once you have like an army of three, four, five, comes a problem. So yeah, this is a really good leveling spot. If you just run in and out of this zone forever and ever, like, you'll have it. You will, you will level infinitely. The problem I had when I first came in here is that the hunt was active, and I needed to... I needed to use that essentially to like sort of get a combo going so I could heal my magic and my health. Yeah, you can see the uh, the lack of benefit now. Remedy is the one. Yeah, she's still got thieves cuffs. Okay. The fuckers really love blind. I don't know why, but it's fine. Canelo, how are you running out of magic? What did I miss? Are you casting bravery like all the time? Probably. Me backwards, damn it. No, I don't remember because I think these skeletons do eventually run out, but I don't know if they have empty spawns or what happens here. Oh shit, I aggroed more. Also, I'm rich as hell. Like, doing these side quests, I have over a million gold, so... I don't think there's anything really in the game that costs too much more than that at all. I think even like the rarest of the rare items only costs like a million gold. It's like 999,999, but I have the money to purchase it if I need to. Also, if I get it. If you ever see anything like that in the bazaar, just know that uh, it's probably one of the higher level weapons or pieces of equipment in the game, which is why it's so important. Bravery costs a lot of magic, doesn't it? Keep trying to blind us. Also notice that nobody on my team died. At all. Like in the slightest.
Even running at low magic, like, I'm not dying. Again, I wouldn't be here unless I needed to be, so there is that to consider. But I'll probably get another level out of this, I'm not gonna lie. Like, the experience from each of these is 1,500 or so. Because these are the most annoying, like, humanoid-type enemies in the game. Like, we're gonna, we're gonna face some stronger ones later, but, like, especially in the early game, which is, like, you, you're able to get here pretty quick. As long as you're playing through the story. And even if you aren't, you can still get here pretty damn quick. Uh, yeah. These guys kind of suck. Come on. There we go. And of course, it's a damn frog shrine, but still, makes sense. Ah, the one chosen by the Benayans of love and bravery visits us. You'll find the third, Medallion of Might, within this shrine. Take it. Ah, love and bravery, they too are keys. Keys to grant access to the great beasts that await the Necker Hall and Abedis. Take them. So the whole point of this hill is just to see if you're ready to even fight the beasts that are inside the Necker Hall of Nabodis. That you are here is all the proof enough of your worthiness. The medallion that sleeps in the shrine is yours. Seeing the medallions in hand of the chosen was our task. Now we may rest. Slay Humbaba, Fury, and Chaos. Restore silence to the Necrohall of Nia er, Restore silence to this Necrohall Nabudis is become. Do this in our memory. They were ghosts all along. Lusterless medallion. So, yes. The undead, the ghosts, came back and said, Hey, listen, man. We need you to kill some shit. Go kill some shit. Oh, shit. Balthier, no. Balthier, come here, boy. These golden skull caps, like holy shit. From when I got them at level 30, they've been like the best armor piece I've had for most of my cast. Alright, we're still looking good on the recording. I'm kind of tired of the undead at this point. There we go. <laughs> There we go. Now granted, the first part of this puzzle was getting the first medallion, which was the, probably the hardest part. 
The second medallion's pretty fucking easy once you're in Arcades. It's like, hey, find this one guy who happens to have the medallion. And I think they learned or they ran out of time or options to go with the second puzzle. Because I have a feeling they wanted to try and do that bullshit where it's just like, oh, hey, let's make a second puzzle. And it's just like, nah, man. Like, you've already put him through one. Let's not put him through a million. Oh, damn, I was looking right at it. It's like, huh? Just because it's a goddamn elemental. You know how much I love the elementals. Also, you're starting to notice I haven't really used quickenings a lot lately. Because before, like, I'd use them almost every battle that required some effort. But now it's just like, okay, we're only going to use them when we really need them. Elementals, they're just annoying to deal with. So if I can get some raw damage on them, which is free, because Mist doesn't have elemental charge, it's all good. Please. Please. Got it. Although I wish I was getting better than level 1s. Please. My regards. More level ones. <laughs> Some level twos. Come on, element of treachery, mischarge. I must be strong. Oh damn it! I had some good charges there. You're going to love this. One. Oh fuck! I had it. Windburst? Yeah, windburst. Now the way this used to work, and again, uh, this is back in the PS2 days. So you didn't have charges. What you had back in the day was you would have your magic, which would be in place of your mischarges. So if you had full magic, you could use mischarges whenever. So if you were running out of magic or you needed to reset your... Um, your mist charges, all you would have to do is replenish your magic up to a certain point instead of having the charges ready. And restoring your magic is what got your mist charges back. Now that's no longer the case. So now your magic and the mist charges are two separate things, which is why I can basically do them more often. But you're going to find that even now I'm going to use them less and less often.
Oh, you don't need the golden amulet anymore. What am I doing? I think her thief gambit's still on, right? So you may wonder why I switch from certain characters to other characters. Uh, there is actually a reason, because some characters I never switch to, like Balthier, I'll never have him actively like as a character, because he spends so much time doing buffs and healing that it doesn't matter. But um, most of my gambits are set to party target if everybody's target. And what that means is, if my leader, or leader target is everybody's target. So if I set my leader, and my leader's trying to steal from an enemy, then everybody switches to that target, and they attack it. Because right now I have... Uh, did I ever come this way? I don't know. I don't remember. Oh shit! Alright. Have I never had warp? Really? Also, this is a good chance to stop by that shop because I feel like I've got a Suniga now. Okay, sure. No, no, I, I needed warp. If I'd forgotten that, I would have been pissed. Thank god I got it. That was just me paying attention to the map a little bit. God, what the hell is hitting you? Grand girl. Oh, right, they don't have bubble because Fran doesn't have bubble. to mobilize. I forgot all about that. That works, though. but nothing. Okay, so she's got some black magic. I think blind is what I need, though, so we'll see. Penelo should be close. Should be close. And this weird shield worm just hanging out out here is really fucking weird. Never really understood why it's here.
No, not slow, blind, and silent. Slow and expose. Float going, thanks. This is I don't care mode. the big guy. Brand, what is your dispel at? Bravery, we want that on protect. Thanks. All right, there we go. Wait, what do you mean, immune? You know what? Fuck it. Let's go, what we got. You don't need Libra. We're gonna go with Reflect Ally Any. There we go. Fran, attack Goliath, please.
Good. We're also going to turn off your dark, uh, but we'll turn it back on later. I think we're pretty set here. Give it some time. Doing some good damage. About a thousand apiece. Yeah, we're really getting into it there now. So Reflect is really good against this boss because right now all he's doing is magic. And as long as I've got the Opal Rings, he really can't do much. Okay, he's trying to switch tactics now. Now he's going physical. Look at that damage. So I exposed the shit out of him for like a lot, like early on, but he's not going to be able to take these hits. He's done. Thirteen hundred damage for each hit. Yeah, get wrecked. All right, we can really readjust these now. So that's fine. Raise is okay. Turn on poach. I never, never did. All right, taking off the opal ring. Give her back her thieves cuffs. up. I forget what I gave him before. He had the opal ring on, didn't he? This isn't bad, but it's not great. I want a stat booster, to be honest. Vitality up, magic power, defense down. Sure, why not?
We're gonna go back to Protectica. There we go. Where am I in here? Okay. So far, so good. The only bad part about all this is there are some things that I do want to sort of go back out for, but for right now I think we're just going to have to deal with what we got. Which should be fine. I think we're, I think we're pretty good. Saga is really just going to wreck their shit. Oh, hello. Wait a minute. Alright. Alright, I'll let that slide. I was worried there, but that's really good. They really wanted to do that, uh, that crystal shield, but I've already got enough physical defense that I don't really have to worry about that. Like, magic evade is probably going to be more important from now on than physical evade, just going to say. go to that other hunt because greater undead dead city cure for bad dreams hunt down the mark in the necro hall now but east cloister of the highborn huh so that's over there comes immune to physical attacks Wandering around with one character, 10% HP or less. Fight isn't difficult, assuming you can heal your characters. Okay, no, that's fine.
Or a Calcum Dirk? Oh, shit. No. Aegis. Thank you. Oh, it's a... it's a dagger. Okay, so I have a pretty good idea about that one. So we're going to move on to the other side objectives I wanted to focus on. We'll come back to that here in a minute. Fishy dreams. Farewell to a legend. Clan Centauro. Jovi the hero, which we're also going to finish here shortly. I also still need to finish Kajin. But the girl won't show up, and then I haven't been back to Rabinaster yet, so there is that too. Andromalek. Zalera, Zeromus the Condemner, Exodus the Judge. Rose Corsages. How many Rose Corsages do I have? I'm just opening the door. I'm not going in. Just opening the door. Don't force me in that room. You're going to force me in that room, aren't you? Yeah, it is. Cutscene, here we go. What's up, Bun Bun? Yeah, that thing's a damn nightmare. Hang on! <laughs> Heroes March. Zodiac, we aren't there yet. Cactar, Bajerban Madu, Earth Tyrant already got. Your Rendezvous. Metal, 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 metal. Mood Silver Metal. Deadland. Lusterless Medallion. Okay, here we go. Necrol of Nabodis. 10 and 15 show up here. And 10 can be a bio mode. 15 is a guaranteed golden axe, which will be really good. Three chambers in the dungeons within contained bosses. Each chamber can only be unlocked by a particular medallion. Crucible has 45, which is a mega elixir. And Cloister of Solace has 36, which is a scathe moat. So nothing real. Okay, this one is the good one. Fury is very fast, so dispel it immediately anytime it uses Hero March. Have someone ready to cast slow and silence throughout the battle. Halfway through the battle, Fury begins drinking boxes, wine to enter Berserk State. Its attack becomes even more furious and it combos frequently. This is no problem if your healers are up to the challenge. The character dispel the state. But expect Fury to use another boxes wine very quickly. Yeah. 
There we go. Yeah, unfortunately, Fury is at such a low level, it's not gonna really matter. Fury is a fucking nightmare boss creature, though. Like, holy shit. Coach. Do I have anything that cures Berserk? Bun yeah. bun is done done. Try right, keep drinking. I'll keep stopping you and slapping you in the face every time. Get wrecked. <laughs> I love this rabbit. It's great. Just like, how could you? <laughs> so the joke there again. Tiny rabbit takes down big ass motherfucker. Ah, I love it. Southwest side of Necrohall's Navidi, so I'm like the door of Forest Medallion of Bravery. Lustrous Medallion Keens. I'm running the wrong way because I'm cool like that. You know what? I want to see what this trap is. Kill me. It tried. That's a fucking good axe. Look at that. Oh my god, it's such a high level axe. That's nuts. Pinello's a fucking god now. Like, she is the strongest fucking weapon right now. Granted, it does work on a weighted counter, so... 120 is the standard attack base, so if she gets... If she gets close on one, that's fine. So 
again, what is in this room? A bio moat. I don't care about a bio moat. Okay, cool. But yeah, that golden axe, fucking fantastic. Fucking amazing. Cloister of Distant Song, southwest side. Which I believe is that one right there. The other door is obviously in the middle here. So in each section, there's a different door that leads into a different room. Oh boy. Strangely enough, I actually do need this squad. Where are my high ethers at? 15? Well, not great. Get the float on. them all. Boom and boom. Did that motherfucker really use siphon on me? Did you really? Mobilized, what happened to that? Again, if it's got bravery, why the hell is it attacking? Actually, speaking of which, uh, is anybody casting bravery? No. don't have the option to do it, do you? Nope. Let's check with Balthier here. Or not Balthier. Um, Bosch. Yeah, Bosch is not a white magic user. It's time magic and green magic, maybe. Yo. Fight me! Thank god you're not using a null. I don't 
don't remember there being this many traps. God, float is so cheap. gonna clear out this section before we trigger the uh, the enemy. See, that's alarm clock. That's clearly not Prince's Kiss. Fuck off with Prince's Kiss. That's some bullshit. Belga too. That'd be nice. It's like a goddamn train. Alright, Bikinami. Sell me your wares. No! Oh, damn it. Why? Nope. But I do need three. Fuck, that sucks. I'm very upset by this. Why don't you sell it yet? You're the only reason I'm gonna have to run back here. You're the only one, and you're the only one holding me back. Fucking god damn it, that drives me nuts. Alright. Also, the only reason I ever carry three of anything for any reason is just to save me from headache later on. Because I'm only gonna have three people out any one time, anywhere. So if, they're, if they make you immune to something, then I just need to switch between the characters I have out there. Not that that's ever really going to happen. Actually, you know what? I'm going to sell some shit to you, man. This merchant knows what's up. He's like, I see you. I know what you want. Sorry, Kaganui. I'm so sorry. Tumulus, goodbye. We're gonna get rid of the fucking things, because they drive me nuts. God, I get a lot of money from those. Nope, holding on to the black mask. Thanks for trying, though. Thanks for trying. I keep trying to spend, and I keep making more than I spend at any one time. <laughs> and I'm not even farming that hard. Like, I'm really not... I think there was maybe one or two times where I farmed an area, but that's really it.
One good sturdy bone. Definitely need to get rid of these dark crystals. Festering flesh. Zombie powder. Sagittarius gem. Blood darkened bone. Ancient bone. Iron carapace. Worm carapace. Got nothing. Fuck. Why would I ever want a moat? Ever. Why would I ever want any of these? You know what? Maybe Aquaria, but even then. Fuck. Alright, so now here's another tricky thing. Off, off, off. So of the characters I have out here, Vaughn, attack yourself. And again, I know what this looks like. I promise it'll make sense, but it's for the hunt. There we go. And let me just make sure. Well, I'm pretty sure it's it. On, on, on. Now it's immobilized. silence works. I doubt it, but we'll take a look. It does, actually. Nice. So now you're really stuck, because what the hell are you going to do? Not a damn thing. Alright. I made this easy mode. So yeah, silence will do it. See how much damage this does. Three thousand eight hundred. Okay, that's not bad. Fran, attack the zombie warlock. solve this problem, I think. I don't know if the paling stops it, but we're going to give it a shot. Yes. Uh, give me a second. something. Uh, 
All right, I got a mischarge in there somehow. Index was faster than my thumb there. Surprising, I know. Warrant? No? Arc Blast. Huh. Okay. Again, I can't see the name anymore because it's in the top middle, and that's about the only thing. It did zero. Okay, so it is it does technically count as physical. Magic, do it. It does actually. All right. Let's go for that. Is your Kira, like, really fucking good? So yeah, you just kind of have to adjust on the fly. It's not too hard. And it's fine. Dark, vulnerable, no. Dark, weak. Dark, vulnerable is just about anything that can be hit by dark. It's like, can you be hit by it? Okay, here you go. Those are the two Necrohall beasts. So, hang on, I'll be right back. I have to go help somebody lift something, so I'll be right back, I promise.
Okay, sorry about the delay. Um, so anyway, let me explain that uh, that one hunt. So that monster only appears if you have an ally with 10 or less percent HP, which is why I turned the gambits off. Because, as you can imagine, uh, with the gambits on, it's going to be hard to have a ally at lower HP because I have gambits set to not have that happen just naturally. And there's going to be more enemies that are like that. Fucking oversouls. So... Another aspect of this game, and I hope they don't hit Fran, because Fran's going to be super important to me. Is that there are creatures that have certain conditions. Good, I got a Princess Kiss that'll make up for the one I had to use like five seconds ago. And I'm pretty sure that door over here will not open. So we're going to ignore it for now, or at least try to. Nope, and there goes Fran. The hero we all needed. gonna switch over right now. Now nah, we'll hold off, because let me see. Humbaba Mistant. Creature powerful melee attacks, begins the battle with haste and bravery in effect. Dispel remove the bonuses, cast protect on the party. Spells helps lower defense. Scourge sap. Success also comes in handy. So we'll use bio, because bio has sap as well. Immobilize and disable the pirate with Trembler attack. Use as soon to remove these statuses. If not, the affected characters are right for Humbaba Mist and Sword. So, we'll put on... Things that stop, disable, and immobilize. Which are the Black Belts. Leave off Fran and Bosch. Fran, once she steals the first time, we'll switch it off, but for right now, it's okay. His fucking Kira does 2,000 heals. That's fucking nuts. I'm not mistaken. If I get this group to level 50, that'll be the 50 level average, which is fine. Oh my god, Dark Good does so much damage. It does just so much damage. No! Damn it, not friend! Not friend! <laughs> Not Vaughn, too! You son of a bitch! Ah, I just got that magic back. Yeah, I was about to say. Also, I could get Save the Queen right now by turning in. The word might have been carved within. Yeah. 
Do nothing. Oh. <laughs> Trying to kill myself. Not on purpose. Actually, we're recovering your MP rather quickly. I kind of like that. Also, yeah, I'm getting a lot from killing enemies. Like, killing enemies with magic is doing more than the cost is. Bond's just getting back MP. Fucking oversold. You suck. Not again. No again, you suck. You fucking suck. Why the fuck not? Yeah. sick of these Helvenics.
Get it. Does it really give... Oh, shit. It gave me 13 license points. I didn't even realize. Alright, Fury. Being a wrathful spirit and body of the dream hair living in the Necrohall of Nabodis, its astonishing power made it all the more startling by its demure appearance. None know the limits of its strength. Indeed, many are the great creatures of legend who have lost their lives to this furry terror. As cruel as it is cute, it stalks the shadows, looking for worthy opponents against whom to test its metal. The Wrath Spirit. Being a ripper born of abiding regret and lust for vengeance felt by those warriors who perished in the destruction of Nabodis, it remembers its patriotism even in undeath. So it appears in dreams, speaking words of doom to those who would disturb the palace. Merchant Popol unwisely looted a corpse, and the Necrohall has issued a bill for this mark. It's ma a magical fiend of great size, appearing sometime after the destruction of Nabodis. The manner of its fashioning and the source of its power are both mysteries. Its apparent materials and accoutrements being wholly different from other such construct constructs. Of late, interest in, in this fiend has spread beyond the usual scholarly crowd, leading Barong, an aspiring author of bestiaries, to post a bill for this mark. Oop. There was something. Shining Electrum in your hands. Yeah, if I ever get Electrum, you'll know. Fuck! So this group, as you can tell because of like a whole bunch of different buffs that they get, they're getting their magic back no problem even after annuls, which is really fucking good. God, look at that damage. Fran, I love you, girl. I love you, Vera, girl. You're so good. Free level going into the door. Woohoo! some garbage. Examine the depression. The medallion would fit neatly in the depression. Use the medallion of bravery. What's up, big boy? Alright. Everybody needs a black belt. And I want you to cast blind, because I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I want it to work.
There we go. Sap is good. Sap going. Good. Fran, what is your gambit set at? There we go. Really need a blind going here. Come on, blind. Can't tell if you're immune or not. Try blind one more time. Come on, blind. I guess it just doesn't work. Tremblor is what causes the uh, the negative status effect. Thankfully, I think we're going to be okay. Did you just try to counter me? You big galoop? Fran, cast your arcane dark for real quick, or dark to. I want to see how much this does. Oops, did I do that? Chunk of damage. Seven thousand a pop. Yeah. Sap is still in effect, though. With your arcane magic alone. Holy shit, girl. Now, the thing about magic is it doesn't combo like physical attacks do, but this is pretty damn good. So again, the reason I have the black belts on is I disable and immobilize what happens when the Tremblor does connect sometimes. It's just an added effect. But as long as I'm immune to it, it won't work on me, so it's all good. Look at the little Humbaba! I love these little things, they're great. So by far, this is my power team. This is the team. 
The other team's fine, but it is strictly a brawl team on the other team. Like, with white magic added on. But this team is the full mix. This is the full roster right here. Does everything I want. Obtain the medallion of might. All right, you just straight up gave me the map. Fuck me. But uh, we have one door left. One door to remain. You think this is a beneficial trap? Let's find out. Nope, not even a little. <laughs> but I did get that scathe mode. So there was that. The next one's going to be fun. I'm not looking forward to it, just going to be honest. Face the Esper Chaos. So yes, this last one is strictly an Esper. Zodiac Chaos, Walker of the Wheel, level 57, 200,000 HP, 60 LP on drop, T possible steals are Elixir, Taurus Gem, and High Arcana. All really good. The Taurus gem being the lighter of the ones, but it's all fine. Uh, found at the end of the Nebres medal event, which we're finishing up now. The party must find four pieces of metal, recover two more medals. Next, the party must explore Necro Hall, fight two powerful bosses before facing chaos. It's a long journey, but well worth the trouble. Attack command is disabled in this battle, which forces the party to rely on magics and techniques. We'll cast Silence, equip Rose Corsages to negate this. Set up Gambits with Echo Herbs. We're just going to do the Rose Corsages, because fuck that. Make the four Chaos Jets, Earth, Air, Fire, and Water, primary target to start of the battle. Use Soul Eater to really put the hurt on him. If a character or two is focused on outputting damage with Soul Eater, make sure other characters are focused on refilling their HP. Using this technique, it's possible to er quickly eradicate all four Chaos Jets. Otherwise, use Aroga to defeat the Earth Chaos, Viraga to eliminate the Water, Earth earth Elements, Fire Chaos Jet is weak, Water Elements. You can try to hit them all with non-elemental areas, yes, like Scathe, Scourge, or Bio. Which, Vaughn, you're going to be up to that task. Shit, Vaughn's got a lot of MP. Holy shit. That's really good. Combination of bio and soul eater work really well against the big guy. Okay. So we'll set that up. Can you all put on soul eater is the question. You have it there. You have it. Okay, cool. Soul Leader works. And... Okay, so everybody's got it. Perfect. That'll work. We're just going to put them on now. That way I don't forget, because I will. Ah, 
actually... Chaos is one of the last espers other than... There is another Esper, which if I can beat Chaos, which I feel like I can because I just beat the two minions pretty easily, um, we should be good to go. Like, we should be able to get most of the Espers, and the only ones left will be the ones that basically are the big assholes like Zodiac and Ultima. I do love me a Zodiac. Darka. Darka is so good. Why is it so good? All right. Keep my eyes open, because if this gets bad, I need to run out of the room. Or just try to quickening chain the shit out of it. So, but yeah, this is a common trend among experts. It's like, oh, you want to have magic locked? You want to have attack locked? You want to have items locked? Characters cannot attack. No shit. Oh... My god, I one-shot the shit out of that. That's right, keep trying cast silence. Keep trying. What the fuck are you hitting me with? Got the Taurus, Jim. You know what? That's fine. Oh, right. He doesn't know what to do. Go 
this will work just fine. And you know what? Just for funsies. I got a skate boat in here somewhere. Let's go. Silence, who would have known? Thank you, Bubble. Oh shit, not good. is still in effect. I don't know if this will work, but I want to see if it does. Nope, not even a little bit. Oh, Eroja. It was like, wait, what is that? And it's just like a, it's a wind magic spell.
Yukai Sand. Wake up! Confuse... Yukai Sand. There we go. There's also that one thing that makes me immune to wind attacks, which would be probably really good. The only issue with that is then I could be silenced, which I don't really want. trying to stay so far apart from each other is that I really don't want it to affect me like on all members but chances are it would to be honest that's the first time I've had somebody fall down in a while Considering we're this close to killing the thing, I'm okay with it. Alright, I need to start casting magic. Because he doesn't automatically do it, which would only make sense. If I don't have a target that I have ready to go, then he won't actually do it. This is just going to end it. Because I'm tired of him using Erosia. Like, that's honestly the only reason I'm doing this, because fuck him. <laughs> Stop it, Chaos. Stop doing the thing. Also, in the order of espers, this is the third most difficult one on the list. Like, this is top three now. This is the last of the espers. There is one other one, which is just a tier below this one. Uh, but that one's a little weird because... That's the no-item esper. Which isn't really a big deal. Again, it's all really confusing, but... Zodiac is probably going to be the next one we get, because Ultima is a pain in the ass to find. And we aren't there yet in the story anyway, so... If I can get to Zodiac, great. This should be enough. Torrent? Yep. This should be the end of Zodi or of Chaos. Oh, no, it's not. Alright. 
motherfucker, no, motherfucker, no, motherfucker, no. No, motherfucker, no, motherfucker, no, motherfucker, no. You know what I should have done? I should have done reflect again. If I did the reflect build, this will all would have been null and void. Also, yes, uh... Chaos here is a wind attributed Esper. You're mine now, bitch. Nello gets this one. Interesting. All right, we're going to reset up the gambits. Not too bad. Not too bad. We have done our hunts. The Necro Hall of Nabudis is complete. Yep. Another trap treasure chest yet again. Hey, are you gonna kill me? It tried. And another Mega Elixir. So the Mega Elixir alone, like that's pretty much worth it no matter where you go. Necro Hall of Nabudis used to be so much better, though. Because you could always... You remember that... You know that hidden shop that I keep going back to? There is going to be a spell later on that I can get from there. But for right now, I can't get it. And it's driving me nuts. Healing later for Penelo. Alright. She gets Zodiac too. That's weird. All right, so let's take a look at that license board. The one we're looking at is Pinello's. So, does nothing for you on this board. However, on this board you get Holy Protectiga Asuniga. All right, I'm okay with this. Zodiac is gonna give you Arise and Dispelga, maybe? I imagine Zodiac is going to be, like, right here or something. Because you've got to have healing spells somehow. Cura and Raze would be weird. Let's take a look at some other boards. Let's see. I've already got those for you, so Chaos would be a lost cause there. Does nothing for you there. I already got those for you anyway, so that's a lost cause there. Already got these, so that's also a lost cause. Oh. Get that for you. Uh, this would get you Ultima Blade, but I don't want you wielding great swords anyway. Yep, gets you nothing there. I think I already have that, to be honest. Bushi. Bushy douchey get you brawler. Oh my god. A thousand. Like, I'm looking at those license points and I'm having a heart attack. I'm like, there's a thousand license points and I can't do anything with them. Nope. Pinello's the one. Now, if only I could get a Suniga. Wouldn't that be cool? Tactica, ally, any. That 
that's going to be more important than bravery. Faith. Faith for sure. Cleanse, ally, diseased. Perfect. We're going to put that way the hell up here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That actually needs to be, like, the top. There we go. So... At this point, we've basically officially finished the Necro Hall of Nabodies, except for the goddamn shop, which doesn't have the equipment I need as of yet. Which I don't know, probably hasn't unlocked anything until after Gear of Vagan, but... We're getting the hunts done right now. Let's take a look at our clan primer. Because we do need to get out of here. Humbaba Mistin. Being a Humbaba transformed by the powerful mist several times larger than its regular kin and a fearsome sight to behold, with its giant hard, iron hard horns as hot as molten rock, the sword it wields is subject of legend, for it is said that with this blade did, it cut, did the gods first cut heaven and earth in twain. Tutelary deity, uh, tutel, tutelary deity of sacred crystals fashioned by the gods. At the time of the Great Making, created in opposition to Mitron the Chastiser, Scion of Light. Upon entering the world of man, he was enveloped in the turmoil rampant there. Lost, he died and was reborn countless times. A walker of life's wheel, eventually to rage against the gods that had so fated him, by sitting in meditation upon the Una pedestal, which is exactly what he's sitting on there, does he clear heart and mind until all that has order and reason and thought is made as nothing? Anything else in the bestiary? How did I get an earth elemental? Oh, 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 oh. Got it, got it, got it. No, I know it. I, I, I got these from the, the fight. The fight with chaos. I could have sworn I fought those elementals, though. It's all good. It's all fine. But needless to say, the only decent thing I actually got out of this trip, other than chaos itself, was the goddamn axe. Which I think is hilarious. Also, as far as people who can use holy, is it only Canelo and Balthier? Because that'd be really fucking good. That's a really good spell. Like, holy as just a straight up uh, white magic damage. It's really good. Darkga is ridiculous. Look at how much damage that does. It That used to be capped. There used to be a damage cap of 9,999. And now that that damage cap is gone, like, I'm doing so much damage. Magic is going to be, like, my, my life's blood. I really need to spell too, but you know what? The game's not giving it to me yet. What I'm hoping, and I'll, I'll look this up later, because I do need to find... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hell yes. 
All right, let's see. Defense from 51 to 66. 49 to 64, 66. 51. So this seems like the best option. for Ash. But yes, that Maximilian, fucking amazing. I can't believe I got that. That's really fucking good. Like, that is a high tier level armor set. And normally you'd be able to buy those, but the fact that they just dropped it? Holy shit. Also, you have to remember, in the PS2 days, I could basically build a team with whatever spells, and there was no restrictions other than my licenses. So, right now it's a little weird, because I have to limit myself to what abilities I have for what job. I don't mind, it's fine, but as a result, they've also made enemies easier. So, I have a feeling that those bosses and enemies used to be a lot tougher way back in the day. As well as, like, item finding and grinding. Uh, but, hey, I'm okay. It does speed up the game a bit. Now, the real problem, unfortunately, for this game is once you've cleared all the hunts and everything, there's not really a lot left to do in the end game other than trial mode and i don't mind trial mode trial mode i'm gonna have a good time with but i haven't really touched it except for the one time i think i did that off screen so maybe you didn't see it and that's okay but um when i did play it i was basically just going for like the early game stuff and i basically stopped at certain parts but there are some really good armor and equipment I can get really easily. And even now, I think I could probably get to uh, level 100, but we'll see. Like, I think it would be a little bit much to try and do that, but I feel like I could do that. Why well, no immobilize the dark element? Soul Eater. Yeah, so Soul Eater is really good. It does cost you your own health, but it's really fucking good. Oh, I need to change my equipment. I forgot all about it. Uh, Rose Corsage, you need to go back to... Thief Gauntlets, or Thief Cuffs. Chance of avoiding attacks. Magic Power up. I'm thinking about that turtle shell choker. I don't want to use it right now because money's still important, but it's interesting. Vitality goes up by 20 points. Defense goes down by two, magic power goes down by one. 
You know what? He's a black mage. That'll work. That'll work. Who's chance to hit? No, I don't think I want chance to hit. Oh, well, no. Opal. Yeah, we'll keep the opal ring on. The bonuses alone are fine. What its active ability is doesn't really matter. If it becomes a problem later on, I can just swap out to whatever other accessory. So it's important to note that accessories super important in this game. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Double Blizzaga. Get fucking destroyed. Before I leave, though, Penella, would you join me for a moment? Yeah, Chaos is a level 3 summon. But that's fine. We want to use Chaos for just a bit. We're going to have a little bit of fun. We're basically just going to show him off the one time. We'll probably never use him ever again because he is a wind-based elemental creature. Not quickening. Summon. No, 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 no. Pinello, I need you to have equipped. Not the agate. Especially if you're going to do this. You need the opal ring. There you go. Look at that fucking hit. 7,000 damage. So obviously the problem with Pinello being the summoner here is that she has no way to recover health for this big guy. At least right now. She has no health recovery. I'm hoping Zodiac opens up quite a few possibilities for her. Because that's the only thing I can think of. And Zodiac's going to be a pain in the ass. Because not only is that a time-limited battle, but Doom's in effect... And, yeah, it's bad. Oh, you have Renew. Big boy. Big fucking boy. Well, I might as well have him use Renew. I mean, why wouldn't I? Also, yes, controlling your espers did not used to be a thing in this game. It is now, but it didn't used to be. Alright, let's go for it now, just because. Tornado. These animations are always cool. The best one, my favorite one, is Zodiarx. And we're gonna get Zodiarx for sure. 
is just going to be a little bit wild longer because that one's a hard fight. already you can tell like that ability alone did not do a lot of damage but it was interesting nonetheless it was cool So that was just a summon demonstration. It has nothing to do with anything. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. So you might be wondering, why would I use Blazaga versus just a standard Blizzard or anything else, even if my MP cost goes up? But uh, the trade-off here is that Blazaga, for as expensive as it is to cast as MP, if there's multiple enemies around, and there usually are at this point, and they all have the same weakness, they all get hit by that because there's an area of effect so it's only one cost to hit multiple enemies versus like a single blizzard, which is cheaper, but it only targets one. So normally what I'll do is late game, which is like right now, we're getting in the later part of the game. Like we still got some huge dungeons left to go. Don't, don't get confused. Like we're just heading into Gear of Vagan. That has nothing to do with like the fucking ridiculous tower scene. But, uh, yeah. What about here? He only gets Belias. Or Belius. Vaughn only gets Ultima. Everybody else gets at least two. And then there's Fran. She's getting fucking four. I actually can't wait for Shem Hazah. Haze. Hazaha. Oh shit, she's got slow too. Fuck me. And there's Thundaga, which just obliterated both those chocobos. These poor bastards. They don't stand a chance. important. I am never going to use balance for anything. There is never, ever, ever going to be a reason to use balance. So for those, again, I think I've talked about this before, but if you don't know how balance works, it takes the difference between your maximum HP and current HP and causes damage, which you would think if you're at low HP, yeah, that works really well. 
the problem with that is if you get hit, you're dead. Like, you want to have as low HP as possible, but it just doesn't make any sense to do it that way. Oh, I need to turn in these quests. Uh, now, banana. Yes. So, but anyway, we finished the side quest for the Nebraeus Metal. We're also going to go back and talk to Mont Blanc. Because we have leveled up in the Clan Primer. Let me see where we're at in the Clan Primer. We are at Night of the Round. Which, if I'm not mistaken, is the last one... Before um, the max. I could be wrong, but I think Knight of the Round is one of the last clan ranks. That being said, there are plenty more hunts. Power Vest and Chakra Bands. Well, I don't need either of those anymore. Thanks, though. But yeah, we've got a good chunk. Alright, where are you, chucklehead? It's you! Popal! You're back! Thank you so much for helping me. Couldn't keep my eyes open any longer. I fell asleep. The death scythe was there as always, but then it just vanished. I knew then you had killed it. Ah, to be awake again. When you're haunted by a death scythe, you're never really awake. Before the war, me and a friend of mine had a smithy, but he's gone now. Who knows? Maybe it's time I gave it another try. Well, if it isn't Jovi. Jovi, over here. What do you want, Popol? Just trying to get rid of that cursed axe of yours. I'm not interested. The cursed axe is cursed no more. This fellow killed the spirit that had been haunting me. Snort. And then Jovi just runs off. Well, that's Jovi for you. I can never thank you enough. You saved me from my fate worse than, well, a deadly fate at any rate. Thank you. Soul of Tamasa. I don't know if that unlocks anything. Maybe. I can't imagine what it would be. Jovi! I've saved all your friends. I'm new here, but I can run without resting too much these days. I feel great. Wee hee hee. Oh ho, you slain the Goliath. Tell me everything about it. And don't leave a thing out. Yes, yes, amazing. I've not seen or heard the like. Ah, Jovi, what timing? Listen to this. Yep, here we go. Yes, Master Braun, what is it? More news of your secret bestiary? No need to be sarcastic, Joby, but yes, it's about the bestiary. I finally added that page on Goliath. Incredible, no? He's the one who helped me gather the information I needed. Your plan to use hunters worked out perfectly. Snort. I never understand that, Joby. Well, I'll show him the bestiary later, I suppose. Never thought I'd see such a rare beast grace the pages of my bestiary. I couldn't be happier. Thanks. Save the queen! And I believe... Yeah, I don't want to give it to Balthier. I want you to keep your bow and arrow. You have Defender right now. Why does your evade go down? You know what? That's fine. They really want me to use that in Sanguine Shield. I'm just like, nope. Whoa, look at you go. Snarf? Boo 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 -ee. You 
know what? You're my new hero. You know what? Four years ago in Rabinaster, I got accused of stealing, but I didn't steal nothing. Honest. The chap saved me back then. He's my original hero. My original hero, he had his lost, just lost his parents. Sad, huh? But he was still looking out for his younger brother. Nice guy. Sounds like somebody I know. But my hero, he got wrapped up in that business with King Ramanas' assassination, and he's gone now. I lost the strength to go on, but two years passed, and I got to thinking. I'd like to see the place where my hero passed away. See, here. But when I got here, they thought I was a stonemason, put me to laboring. But you know, I made a lot of friends here. Oh, they'll, they're all really nice, and they tell great stories. One day I realized the guy who always goes to hunt the marks my friends post, he's you. Seeing you out there bagging all those marks, well, it inspired me. You're my new hero. Wee By the time you finish your journey, I hope to have the repairs of the fortress done and be back in Rabinaster. When times get rough, just remember you're my no. You're all Nalbanus hero. Not of rust and an elixir. Well, back to work. Good boy, Joby. Hey, hero, you know, you look a bit like the original hero, but you're much better. Don't worry. Okay, you get out there and do your hero things. I'll be here doing my, uh, work things. So, yes, Rex eventually saved Jovi, and that's the whole lore thing. It's like Jovi, this poor bad, uh, poor boy ended up being, you know, saved. Night of the round. So, if I'm not mistaken, hunt, 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 complete, 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 complete. We have these two. My goal is we're gonna do this one and we're going to try and do that one. We're going to make an attempt. Now, why do I say try? Because the first time I did that fight on the PS2 didn't go so well. I was at a bit higher level, I believe, unless I'm mistaken. And it was a tough battle. Now, from what I understand, at least from playing this game, it may be that this became easier somehow. But who knows? Get another Francisco. Am I crazy? I might be crazy. Wow, platinum armor being disowned. I want to keep the black mask. Definitely want to keep the black mask. I probably want to get more black masks at some point, but still. Also, the pebble drops have been doing a lot less and less, but I think it's because of the zone I was in. Maybe it was only lower level monsters that do it, but I'm impressed. Get some of that demon drank. Beast Lord Hide. Waterstone. Forest Gem. And Fire Magicite. Chocobo Feathers. Storm Magicite. Insect Husk. Life Crystal, huh? We'll hold on to the High Arcana for now.
there's gonna be one of these times where I'm not gonna have a teleport stone. I'm gonna be like, oh, oh shit. And I'll like get myself stuck somewhere. I just know it. I'm gonna laugh my ass off, but it's gonna be hilarious. Please, Bizarre, have all of the fucking magic. Give me a new magic, give me a new weapon, give me new armor, give me new techniques, give me something. Reverse. Good. I actually do need reverse. No joke. Now, it's not as good as I was hoping, but it does work. I'm gonna ignore the cat ear hood, because fuck that. Why would I want to spend money on that? The answer is I wouldn't. Are you still here? Girl, I swear to God. At this point, any item she gives me, for any reason, is going to be awful. Like, there's no point in me collecting anything from her. Because the items she gives, and I, I guarantee it, the items that she gives for completing her dialogue quest line are already lower leveled and lower attack power than anything I want. Imperial Soul, three teleport stones. Two mega elixirs, and three teleport stones. Bravely ridding our home of the creatures that had profaned it. 2100 kill. Woohoo! I made so much money for killing that big ass boss. Oh, and Bacchus's wine. Yep, you know what? Good. Fucking fantastic. Jesus. Any new marks? No. Yes, I know. I know about the goddamn hunter. I know. At this point, it's not going to be even an issue. Again, that's what I get for going into the Necro Hall early. Like, honest to God, that's the whole fucking point. Let me go back in my guide. Is there anything I get from that quest line? No new bills posted. Of course not. All right. Metal, Moon Silver Medallion. until after you complete Arcades. However, you can't complete it until Straw becomes available and travel around the world. Of course not. And that's the Hunt Club. Okay. So we still have the fishing minigame... And the two clan hunts. I'm going to focus on the clan hunts first, just to get them off the table. And then we'll try to do the fishing minigame, but I think we're locked out of that for a bit. Because that'll send me on a whole different quest line. Which is also annoying, don't get me wrong, but it's all in areas I've already been before, so it's not too terrible.
All right, so I think I'm done for today. Just trying to think if there's anything I forgot. But I'm sure if somebody's, you know, if somebody leaves a comment, I'll figure it out and be like, you need to go back and try to get this thing, blah, 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 blah. And I'm going to be like, fuck, you're right. Uh, you know what? Hang on. Let's talk to the old man and see if he has anything to say. Because again, everybody who saw Roken Moo and Roken Mo were fucking talking to ghosts. They were just straight up ghosts. Something's about to happen. Okay. So he has nothing to say. I help out his friend, go to the Necro Hall of Nobodies, figure out that they're ghosts, and nobody gives a shit. This is like going to Mount Baromi Sace and just being like, Oh, well, it's all good. No problems here. All right. In any case, I'm calling it here. We did a lot of good work today. The hunts are done. The basic hunts are done. And next time, we'll focus on the clan hunts. So until then, everybody, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.